Hey guys, Carr here with Baseball Hideout. Today we're talking about the scapula, more specifically winged scapula for baseball players and overhead throwing athletes. Now usually when we're talking about the scapula, we're not talking about strength or power, but more stabilization of the shoulder. So back to winged scapula, there are usually three reasons why people have winged scapula. One, the muscles around the shoulder blade or the scapula are weak. Two, the muscles around the scapula or shoulder blade are overstretched. Or three, the long thoracic nerve is damaged. Now I'll show you my back here. So we got several different angles here of my back. Um, you see when I'm doing these movements, my sta scapula is just sticking out way too far. And we don't want that. We want our scapula to be stuck pretty close to our body um, so that none of this extra movement is happening. So the stretches and exercises we're going to be working on today focus mainly on the serratus anterior. The serratus anterior is right underneath the scapula, and it's going to help keep the scapula nice and tucked in against our body, keeping us injury free when we're throwing. First is the rhomboid pole. Find a wall and place your whole back against it without taking your lower back off the wall. Lean the upper half of your body forward, stretching the upper back. Next is the neck with arm up. Again, go against the wall, turn your head to one side and give it a slight pull. At the same time, lift the opposite arm up towards the ceiling. We have apple pickers with bands. Grab a band and hook it up behind you. Then reach up and forward to grab the apple. After grabbing, you bring your arm straight down to your side, keeping their traction while coming down. Next, we have push up plus. Um, without shrugging, simply push your palms down towards the floor, raising your chest a few inches. Keep your body flat while performing these. We also have the push up plus plus. At the end of the last exercise, rather than coming straight down, push your body back into upward dog. Do not use your momentum to swing your body, just push uh, from your palms again. We also have a dip bar plus. Find some dip bars and get on them as if you're about to do a tricep dip. Rather than going down, push up from your palms and shoulder blades once again, raising yourself a few inches. We have the cable machine in and outs. Um, you can use either resistant bands or cables. Start with your hands tucked into your chest, then bring them straight out, giving full retraction to the scapula. We have the scapula press. Um, push the dumbbell straight up towards the sky without bending your elbow. Once again, keep the retraction on the way down. We also have the scapular incline press. It's the same thing as the scap press, except for on an incline. We have the cable pull down with retraction. Um, usually the pull downs are for the lats, but we're changing them to be for the muscles for the scapula. So retract the scapula and then perform the pull down. Keep it retracted all the way up. We also have the band pull apart with retraction. Um, I think you get the drill now. A normal band pull apart will be for the real del deltoids or traps and we don't want that. Uh, with retraction we're going deep into those shoulder blade muscles. We have the superman where you go on the floor uh, with your hands forward, raise them upwards once every few seconds. Try this with and without retraction. And lastly, we have wall screws. Keeping your elbows straight, push your knuckles into the wall. Now twist your hands so your palms are facing up towards the sky, and reset. Hey guys, I know I went through these really quickly. I just didn't want to have you sit through a 20 minute lecture, so I blazed through them. If you have any questions, contact me at baseballhideout.com. Thanks.